My name is Janet Stack and I'm the visual arts leader here in Livonia and I also teach uh, at Churchill High School. The art on display is um, from the Livonia Public School teachers as well as the, um, a few retired art teachers for Livonia Public Schools. We have a wide range of talent in the district and we have um, some jewelry pieces, ceramic art, we have uh, analog photography, digital photography, we have uh, acrylic paint, watercolor paint, um, collages, so it's a, wheel, a real wide variety of uh, artwork here. The top row there we have some jewelry from uh, Tracy Altman who teaches jewelry and photography and drawing at Churchill High School. We really don't work on art as a collaborative effort, um, so it's really fun for us to see what the other art teachers uh, do on their own time. We mostly just compare each other's students work typically, so to see the things that they do and the talent that they have and that um, we get to see the medium they work in and it's really exciting for us to come and see. This is a Raku piece that I did on my own and then right next to it is a ceramic piece that Anita Lamour created. We offer in Livonia everything from ceramics, jewelry, we do printmaking, drawing, painting. We still do a little darkroom photography and also digital photography. And then we have a graphic art program at the Career Center too. The art teachers uh, that participated, um, it just kind of brought in something that they thought uh, they did well in and wanted to uh, display. All right, this piece was done by John Hicks, who is teaching at Franklin High. He used acrylic paint to paint this. It's his first year here in Livonia. And this piece was uh, created by Jeremy Rowe, who teaches painting at Franklin High School. He's also a part of the International Baccalaureate program there. We're having this show here this month um, after many years without having a teacher art show. We did it many years ago and it was a big success. Um, uh, teach, art teachers are so busy that it's hard for us to um, have the time to do this and so it's taken a while to bring it back but we're really excited and we are hope to do this uh, in future years as well. And this here is a collage that was created by Kelly Stark and she teaches at the elementary level in Livonia. This is a sketch that was done by Heidi Posh on one of our professional development field trips to the Detroit Institute of Arts. And it was just something she did and simply in an hour, just right live in the gallery. I've been teaching at Churchill for just, uh, this is my third year there, but I've been in the district for, uh, this is my 16th year in the district. I started getting interested in high school and art and um, I just took a, a class in high school and, and loved drawing and uh, kind of got into it that way and uh, just kind of dabbled in it a little bit over the years and then I finally went back to school and got a degree in art. I decided I wanted to teach art because I, I liked working with uh, children mostly and, um, and then I, I had a love for art. so. The combination of the two worked out perfectly. This is a photograph that I took using an analog camera and this was taken in California. I've grown a lot just from teaching art. I've um, learned a lot from teaching and um, so I, I've grown uh, and just I've gotten interested in things I wasn't interested in before I started teaching. I didn't do as much um, painting uh, back when, in college and I started doing a little more of that now and I didn't do any too much photography either until I started teaching so. These uh, watercolor paintings were done by Sally Gokers. She's a retired art teacher in the district and you might notice they're both for sale and if anybody's interested in any of the other artwork in here you can contact the gallery. Um, they're not labeled to sell. One or two are not for sale the others, if you call and you're interested, uh, we can talk about that. I'm a teacher uh, before I'm an artist, so teaching is my passion. And um, I enjoy inspiring students and, and kind of seeing where they're going to take their art. Um, as far as personally 
I don't have aspirations to sell art or, um, or that type of thing. I do it for just personal pleasure. And as I said, mostly I just like to uh, inspire the students and um, see how far that they can go with their art. This piece was done by Brooke Brewster, who teaches at Stevenson High. She actually painted this just using coffee. We do have a district art show in April, usually right around April every year, and um, that whole month we use the whole entire library, both floors, with student artwork, all the way from kindergarten through 12th grade, and it's very, very impressive, and um, it's at the highlight of the year for Livonia Public Schools. We've had a lot of student success. So we have a, several students right now at art schools in the, in the East Coast and doing very well. We've had um, some, uh, an artist in um, New York who graduated from Stevenson High who's done amazing things and has, uh, you know, sold works for a large amounts of money in galleries in New York and things like that. So yeah, we've had a lot of student success. I just tell them to go with their passion and to do what that um, they really enjoy, that that's more important than anything else, and then the, everything else will find them if they just go with their passion.